Hello, St. John's family. Blessed Holy Week. It's been four weeks now since I had lung surgery. Recovery is going well, just a little bit slower than I had hoped. The heart attack was a whole lot easier to bounce back from. I am gaining strength each and every day and adjusting to having 20% less lung capacity. Uh, so my, my walks that I take are getting longer, um, although I do get uh, winded at times. From a surgical perspective, all of the cancer has been removed. From the perspective of oncology, that's not absolutely certain yet at this point. Uh, Dr. Uh, Ari Amutian said to me, you know, with doing the lobectomy, he said, we got the mothership. Uh, we just don't know whether any escape pods got out or not. Uh, so there are more tests uh, in, in my future, and I'm actually being referred uh, to the cancer center over at uh, UC Davis. Uh, one of the things that needs to be done is to uh, biopsy some additional uh, lymph nodes, and there's a couple of different uh, procedures that can be done uh, to do that. So I've got to meet with them, and they're going to go over all of the tests I've already had done, do some more tests, and then uh, determine which one of those uh, procedures to use. And then that will give them a clearer picture of whether um, future treatment is simply observation or whether I need to go through chemotherapy or not. I had hoped to be back for Holy Week services and especially for the Easter services, but that's not going to happen. And uh, there's, a, you know, still wondering when I will come off from disability. Hopefully that will be will be soon um, and just need to kind of figure out what uh, is going to, to happen next. But I, I did want to send out a, a, a greeting to you and, and wish you all a very um, a blessed Holy Week and a blessed Easter as well. I would like to pray uh, for, for us as we uh, go through these next several days and pray God's blessings upon us as we, as we worship him and as we grow in our, in our understanding of his incredible love for us, let us pray. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we are overwhelmed by all that you have done and all that you continue to do for us. Heavenly Father, your, your love for us is amazing in that you sent your only begotten Son into our world in order to, to live for us, in order to die for us, in order to rise for us, in order to give us life. Dear Lord Jesus, we are overwhelmed by what you were willing to do for us, going to the cross and paying the price for all of our sins. And as we go through these worship services, we're gonna, we're gonna hear that again of all that you experienced, all that you did, willing to suffer our hell, that we may have life. Holy Spirit, we thank you for the faith that you work in our hearts and how you feed us through word and sacrament and strengthen us in our faith and our trust in you. So Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we ask your blessings upon us as we worship you over these next several days as we hear again of your incredible love for us. Lord, we pray for Pastor Mike and Pastor Ted and all of those who are going to be involved in the worship services, the, the, the musicians, the readers, the tech staff, everybody who's involved. And we thank you, Lord, for the opportunity for, for us to gather together in person and online to receive your word, to receive your sacrament, to receive your love, to grow in your hope, to grow in strength and peace and the forgiveness that is all ours because of the cross and the empty tomb. In the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Blessed Holy Week. Blessed Easter. God's peace.